here in the, in the Israeli desert, which is called the Negev. More than 60% of Israel territory is a desert, and we are right in the middle of it. We are in, a, in an area called Ramon, Machtesh Ramon. Very unique geological phenomenon happened here. And to explain this, we need to think back 220 million years ago. This is where our story begins, with sandstone from the Arab Peninsula covering this whole area and create soft layer on top of what been here before. Later, a new rock appeared under the water that flood this whole area called limestone. So on top of the sandstone, limestone and then water. What happened next is due to a combination of events. The clash of two tectonic plates led to the formation of mountains that re-emerged on the level of the sea, after which the area began to undergo a process of erosion by waves, wind and weather. The calcareous layer, harder but more external, was consumed first, followed by the erosion of the sandstone layer, a softer layer, located below the first one, eroding material ever more rapidly to form the actual crater. So all around us, the limestone are the limits of this mountain, what left from this mountain. And inside we find clay and found sandstone that was uh, inside of the mountain also more volcanic activity that usually happens underground, but pushed up right in front of our eyes. Maktesh Ramon, therefore, is not only the largest erosion crater in the world, with its length of 44 kilometers and its extension of 280 square kilometers, it also claims the primacy of involving 70% of the currently known geological phenomena. The desert colors and the absence of water that we currently notice should not mislead us. The Mitzperamon area, and generally the Negev Desert, which had once been much more luxuriant, has been populated over the millennia by many populations. The Negev region is undoubtedly one of the most interesting biblical regions of the territory of Israel that we know and that shows a dwelling that definitely goes back thousands and thousands of years, at least to the first forms of humanity, that is hominids, but also organized groups. Shrines, altars, votive stocks for the Most High, the traces found in the territory began in the Bronze Age, about 3,500 years ago, and continued in the 13th century BC, with the Israelite tribe of Simeon, and after the fall of Jerusalem with the Nabataeans. In the Nabataean kingdom that later became the southern district, Christianity also flourished slowly, and it survived until the 5th or 6th century. Every year, tourists and sportmen push themselves into the depths of the desert, on foot or with a jeep tour. These are signs that confirm what the prophet Isaiah wrote. The desert will blossom, or better, rejoice. 